I'm doing a video today of my installation of a Reese Goose Box on a 2018 Van Lee Volano 325RL. It has a Lippert frame and it came with a Lippert Trail Air Rotoflex pin box which does okay but I wanted a little smoother ride and I wanted to be able to get rid of the huge hitch in the back of the truck so I chose the Goose Box by Reese. Shout out to Big Truck Big RV. The guy's got a great YouTube channel with a lot of information on RVs and trucks. And that's where I got this idea from. So big shout out to him. Check him out. So I did it alone. So I started out with my tractor and I attached a couple of pallet, little pallet jacks to the front end so I could get the old box off and get the new box on. So after a little careful alignment, I was able to get the arms under the existing pin box. And using an impact wrench, took the old bolts out and was able to drop the box and carry it away. I then uh, did the reverse with the new pin box, this uh, goose box, and it took a took a few minutes to line up the holes to get the new bolts in, but nothing nothing too crazy. Didn't take me too long. Tightened up the bolts, not to the 210 foot-pound specs, just tight enough so I could get it on the truck to make sure I had uh, around seven inches of clearance between the bed of the truck and the underside of the coach. So I did. So I ended up torquing the, uh, the bolts down to the recommended 210 foot-pounds. I had to use my uh, wife for this next obstacle which was the 210 foot-pound because uh, the, the nuts were spinning on the inside so she had to help me and hold the nuts. And I didn't have a uh, big enough torque wrench so I went to Harbor Freight and bought a three-quarter inch torque wrench so it wasn't a big deal. And then she wanted to see if she could uh, do the 210 foot-pound so she gave it all she had and she actually got it to click so the wife did a great job. Then uh, cleaned up the box using uh, some black spray paint just to get any areas of, of bare metal where the old goose box was and the new goose box fits. And just to touch up any little items here and there so it wouldn't rust in the future. Looked it up to the truck and decided to take it on a little maiden voyage. My, my area, I live up in the hills and uh, we have a pretty steep road, part of it. It's 8% uh, grade and it's kind of windy and uh, not, not the greatest road. So it was a good, good way to test it out. And I was very, very pleased. A lot less chucking. You could really see the, the shocks and the airbag working on the Reese Goose Box. So all in all, I was very pleased with, with the results. Now if you look at those four boxes on the wall of the RV shed, 
I've got a timer, a 50 amp plug, a 30 amp plug, and a 110 plug. And I like to keep my RV plugged in all the time. And I have the timer set for about an hour, hour and a half a day to uh, charge up the batteries. But I also throw the breaker inside on the residential refrigerator so that thing doesn't keep kicking on and off every day. This system works real well. My batteries are always topped off. So if you want to try that on your setup, I think it's a great, uh, great deal to have. Here's a close-up of the setup. The timer's on the right, 50 amp, 30 amp, and 110. And it's just a standard timer. These things are, I don't know, 35, 40 bucks. Not too much. Works out great. So all in all, I couldn't be more pleased with the goose box and the setup. It, uh, we bought it online at eTrailer. And I think with the, uh, the gooseball kit for the ball in the bed and the, the hooks for the safety chains delivered, it was $1,400. So I, I think it's a great investment and it sure rides better and is a lot smoother. I think all in all, we're very satisfied with the purchase and I highly recommend it because getting to be at an age where getting that hitch out of the truck alone was not really an easy thing to do. I ended up having to use my tractor each time and this way I've always my bed is always free no matter where I am in my truck I can put plywood do whatever I need in the bed and I don't have to plan ahead. That's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you got something out of the video.